Hi boss, let's discover the customer module today. There are many functions in the customer center. It shows you a list of customers and the amounts that they owe you on the left. Select the customer's name on the left and you'll see the customer's details on the right. Okay, let me try to select this customer's name on the left. I can now see the customer's contact details, their opening balance and their outstanding balance on the right. I also see a list of the transaction below that. This is so handy! Yes, that's right. If you hover your mouse over the invoice number, you'll see little prompts which shows you that this invoice is overdue and it'll give you the next logical course of action. In this case, receive payment. Wow, this is so useful. Look at these little icons to identify the status of these invoices. I see an exclamation mark here which tells me this is overdue. I like this. Okay, now tell me how do I add a new customer? This is how you do it. Click on New Customer. Fill in details of your customer. Save your information. Now, you can see that the new customer has been added to your customer list. This is really simple. What's next? Let me show you how to create customer transactions. The Customer tab contains the functions to create sales-related transactions. You can also select your customer from the customer list. Click on New Transaction option on the right of the screen and select the transaction. OK, let's try to create an invoice. So I will now click on New Transaction and select Invoice. Yes, correct. The customer's name and details has been auto-populated in the invoice screen automatically. I even see the payment due date. OK, let me try to continue myself. In New Charges, I will now select the items I'm selling to this customer. And now I click save. Is that all I have to do to record an invoice? Yes, boss. That's all you have to do.